In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Quest 3 to Unity. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up and use your Matic Quest 3 headset for VR development inside of Unity. Keep in mind that even though I'm going to cover the initial steps in this video, I'm not going to go too much in depth about what is going to happen inside of Unity itself. For a video of this length, it is simply impossible for me to cover everything, but I'm still going to give you a general checklist on what you will need to start this. Of course, make sure that you have the latest version of Unity before starting, so you can find it on the official website and download it. Now, you will need some additional plugins. First, the Meta XR All-in-One SDK and also the Android SDK and NDK. These will be essential to tools to build your app. And you can also install the Oculus Developer Hub. This is not strictly required for basic connection, but the Developer Hub helps with device management, performance profiling, and other developer tools. In the Unity project itself, you need to create a new project, switch to the Android platform, and set up your scene. After everything has been set up inside of Unity, you will be able to connect your MetaQuest 3 headset to your PC and consequently Unity. This connection is best established through the link cable. This is a wired connection method that is going to give you the best latency possible. And make sure that you enable developer mode and allow USB debugging. Inside of the project itself, you can go over to the build settings, make sure that Android is selected and that your Quest 3 is recognized inside of the software. As long as it appears under the build settings, you will be able to build and run to deploy directly to your headset. So deploy to the Quest 3, run your app, and you will be able to see it available in the app library you can develop it within Unity. And like I said, I apologize for not giving you an extensive view of inside of Unity, but for a video of this length, it is simply impossible. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect Quest 3 to Unity. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.